I never recorded an intro for this video, so um, here's a vlog. Enjoy! <laughs> snowed a lot. We've got like three, maybe four inches of snow, which is great. I mean, I don't have to go anywhere, so it's great for me. And everywhere's closed anyway because, you know, um, germy germs, so snow. It's fun. <laughs> the floor is an absolute mess right now, but I have stuck the eyes on the fursuit. So, eyes on fursuit. We've got the protective plastic on there just to make sure they don't, uh, get scratched but today I think we are going to work on attaching the ears, the eyebrows, maybe some like stripes um, and the teeth and the tongue and the, I'm not gonna get onto the neck today I might not even finish all of the stuff I want to today <laughs> so we'll see look at them they're holding hands oh little ones Danny Fazmid is being a leaf Bulbasaur being a leaf and frog being a leaf. I've also added a few plushies to my uh, plushy sofa back. Uh, I got uh, these three for Christmas. <laughs> this one was from my boyfriend's mum. Uh, I bought that one myself actually <laughs> so I didn't get that one for Christmas. Um, and this one was from my mum. So. Uh, Two of the Christmas and one I just bought recently because I mean, look at him, he's so cute. It's all round and he's got sparkly wings. He's just cute, I love him. <laughs> I also reorganized my toy shelf just a little tiny bit. Uh, one of the toys on the top shelf just fell, <laughs> so it wiped out half the shelf. So uh, I changed a couple of things. I added a capsule chicks. I love this one so much. It's one of the Sweet Circuit series and I just, I just love it. Uh, I also added a Generator X figure there, but he may be moved because he will fall over at some point. <laughs> so I guess I'll uh, pattern the teeth and the tongue. Okay. This paper is not dirty, it's just got some hot glue on it. <laughs> My seam allowance for these things is everything that I make. My seam allowance is like that much usually. <laughs> I have like an inch of seam allowance usually, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just label that. There we go. Put the little scraps in the bin. And the teeth. Well, this is a, vam a vampire, it's a bat. This is a bat fursuit, so it might need some 
very pointy teeth. Basically what I'm doing is judging the size and then I can sketch on teeth. And then I can see what these look like. I've been liking adding these little like molars recently. I see a lot of people do it, but it looks really cute, so I, <laughs> I do it too. And sketch in. And let's see how that compares to my last attempt. Alright, so let's pin in some teeth. I got these uh, cute button pins on AliExpress. I guess for like two pounds, and they are cute. So, those are our teeth and our tongue. I think they're looking pretty good, I think, maybe, I hope. Five minutes per tooth to sew around there. Well, six minutes, sorry. I mean, I could maybe make it four or five if I rushed. I've been watching a video while I work. Now I have to stuff it, so uh, I'll probably just skip filming and just film when I've finished teeth, because otherwise it might be a bit boring. Anyway, time to flip this tooth out so we can see what it looks like. I'm a little bit worried I haven't exaggerated the shape enough because you always have to exaggerate shapes when you're sewing not always, most of the time, sometimes I don't know how to explain it I was about to say I'm not a professional but I do do make fursuits full time so does that make me a professional? I don't feel like a professional, I just feel like a person who makes fursuits for a job. Anyway, uh, the point I was saying was you should exaggerate smaller shapes like this just to make sure they look right. So, we'll see what this turns out like. It's okay, it's not too bad. Probably get lunch in a minute too. Anyway, tooth. No need stuffing. Well, I finished all the teeth. They are stuffed quite solid as well. So now I have to sew these onto the fursuit head. There's a bird of prey in that tree right there. You can't tell what it is because it's just kind of sitting there. I'm thinking either a red kite, possibly a buzzard, it's like a very small buzzard. I mean, it is quite far away, so it is quite a big bird. I have seen a red kite flying around recently, though, so it might be that. Anyway, that's cool. These two have been holding hands all day. Literally all day. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they are probably asleep right now. Just waking up, probably. <laughs> working at this most of the day. I'm a bit slow sometimes. <laughs> but I got all the teeth and the tongue sewn in. Now I'm doing the ears. I just pinned this on. I also made the eyebrows which are here. I might also make a little heart to go on the cheek but we will see. But yes, we are nearing head completion. Nearing. <laughs> the eyebrows on today. I didn't vlog for a couple days because, well, we had a very eventful weekend. <laughs> so we had a chimney fire which we're used to but uh, 
this chimney fire was really bad. So we had to call the fire brigade. Yay! <laughs> I mean, everything's fine now, but and no one was particularly stressed. It was just kind of chill time, surprisingly. <laughs> we are used to chimney fires here because our only form of heating the house is the fires. So if we want to be warm, then we have to light the fires. So yeah, anyway, it was a really bad chimney fire. I might do a video telling the story of it because it was quite an eventful day. So it might be something interesting to talk about. But yeah, it was my first time calling 999. I mean, I've witnessed calling 999 before, um, but I haven't called it myself until the weekend has just been. Um, but yeah, that was a fun experience. Fun being a a term. <laughs> it did mean I could work on this suit for a couple days, though, since. I didn't want it to get all covered in soot. The house was full of, like, smoke and stuff. I did keep my office door closed. We closed all the doors to try and minimize the soot spread. <laughs> it was a bad sign when my dad's bathroom was full of smoke, despite not having any, like, logical way for the smoke to get in there. But, you know, it's all fine now. The soot smell has dispersed. We lit some candles and some incense. I still keep my office door closed. But no, it was a really bad chimney fire. So we had to... I mean, we were trying to put it out ourselves. We usually just put it out ourselves and it's all fine. But this one was just way too bad and we couldn't do it ourselves. Let's stand up to finish this scene. Um, I've got like a really fluffy uh, jacket on. It's really fluffy and soft. And it's keeping me warm because we couldn't light the fire for a, a day and a half. Because, uh, you know, chimney fire, chimney has to be put out before you can light the fire again. But before you can light the fire again, you have to um, sweep the chimney. Which, fortunately, we have the stuff, the equipment to do that anyway. So we didn't have to call anyone to do that. But yeah, uh, it was interesting seeing all the firemen running about. <laughs> the goal is to get this head done this week, but we'll see. Going around these eyebrows twice just to make sure they are very secure. All the snow melted, well not all of it, most of it melted which is sad but also slightly warmer, which is also nice. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna add head stripes, but it just looks too crowded. So, I'm going to add a little uh, heart detail there because I messed up, and there's a little dent. Uh, when I was uh, pinning the fabric on while it was drying, I shoved a pin in too far and didn't realize, so there's a little dent there. There's one here too, but it's not as noticeable, so that one can just kind of stay there but this one needs covering up because it's really obvious but you know uh, art like this will have imperfections it's just how it is <laughs> so it's not a big deal i'll just make that little heart now <laughs> you are a little baby i love you going to be a floor dragger.
at how long this came out. It is almost five feet tall. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty cute. And now I have to finish the fursuit head and make the paws. But not right now, it is like eight, seven o'clock tomorrow. Oh, I was filming my speed paint of this, the colouring half, the align art half went up tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, <laughs> it's Tuesday today. Um, I've scheduled it anyway. I forgot to hit record, so I've only recorded like seven minutes of colouring and we are doing the eyes now. I just spent like a few minutes, not that long, but a few minutes raking around in my materials box to look for that piece of lycra and it was upstairs the whole time. <laughs> anyway, we're working on the neck of this fursuit and I started sewing, <laughs> it's a bit messy right now, but I started sewing the like, loose uh, liner to the neck, but I just don't like it that much. So I think we're going to upgrade slightly and try and make the neck fully lined. So that's what I'm on with. Maybe, hopefully, we'll see. The worst part of sewing is this. Where, how, how did this not form? Where did it come from? I, I have done one stitch so far. One. So I decided to line the inside of the neck, which is something I've never done before. I mean, I lined the inside of my heads, but I've, uh, this is my first time lining the neck itself. I just thought it would look a bit nicer, but because I didn't plan ahead, <laughs> I want this to be a nice finish around here and I can't really um, add like a bias tape very easily because it's already on the neck, on the, 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 the neck's already attached to the head. So what I'm doing is I am ladder stitching all the way around. So then um, I'm going to be here a while. It's finally done. Yay! <laughs> this neck took way longer than it usually does just because I was a little bit unsure about what I was doing, but the head is done. I can move on to the pause tomorrow because it is about 20 to 6, so it's relaxing time now. I just cut out all of the pattern pieces for the pause, so now I have to sew them. Starting with the claws, these have claws, these ones. I also accidentally started cutting these pink bits with the white fabric, like an idiot, so that wasn't exactly great. But it's fine. It all worked out in the end. It's my curved needle, I need my straight needle. The snow last night was really weird, it was like, it looked like snow from a movie. There'll have been a clip in before this one probably. It was it was so weird. It looked really pretty, but it was just weird snow. Also last night I watched the three new episodes of ReZero with my boyfriend. And also yesterday uh, I was watching PJ Masks in German while I work. I'll probably do that again today while I work on these paws, but anyway, I was curious about like who the German voice actor was. In fact, who the German voice actors are for all of the characters. <laughs> There's not much info, but I did find that the German voice actor for Catboy voices Subaru in ReZero German dub. Which is like, it's just such like two extremes of like the kiddie show and then the kind of gory, sad, emotional anime, you know? <laughs> And also the German voice actor for Oilette voices Megumin in Konosuba. And the other voice actors I didn't really find much else about. I'm very glad I got my sewing machine, because if I didn't get my sewing machine, at this point I'd still be sewing the linings, which I did this morning. Um, and it took me, what, like, 
10-20 minutes to sew the linings, maybe a bit less. Whereas if I had not purchased a sewing machine a while back, <laughs> I would still be sewing those linings right now. Ooh. I would like to get some more fabric scissors though. The pair I have isn't very good and the fabric will like slide forwards as you're cutting it, which isn't brilliant. I did put a little question thingy out on Instagram on my story to be like, anyone got any suggestions? Uh, people recommended uh, Friskar's scissors, which I've heard are good. I found that they're a little bit tricky to find in the UK though, which is a little bit annoying. But who knows, maybe I'll find a supplier for them. I've also heard good things about Kai fabric scissors and, um, what is it, Ginger? I think it is. So those are some options, but I really don't like the Janames I have. I mean, they are, they were cheaper fabric scissors that you just buy in the shop, but they just, they're just not very good. I mean, they're sharp and all, and they're okay for cutting things like cotton and lycra as well. I think they do okay with, um, I, mean, I used them to cut my lycra linings today, but they just do not like this fabric at all. I did use them to cut out all these fabric pieces though. It was not- oh I forgot, I forgot, I forgot this was meant to go in there. Oh I'm an idiot. I did this last time actually. <laughs> uh, no worries, I do give myself a huge seam allowance, so this isn't a problem. I think instead of just unpicking the stitches I just cut them out. Which works fine. Finished up all of the fingers, all of toe, toes, fingers. I mean the hand paws, so I guess they're fingers, but they're like paw, hand, thing. You know what I mean. Anyway, finished up all of those. Uh, aside from the paw pads, I add those on the ladder stitch later. And right now we are sewing up the wrist portion. I do make my paws in a bit of an unconventional way, I guess. I mean, it's not too different to other people's processes. I mean, you know, you just cut the fabric, sew it all together. It's just when it gets to the paw pads, I tend to ladder stitch mine on, whereas most people will stitch them on uh, during the, the, I don't know what phase to call it, they'll stitch the paw pads onto the, um, like flats of the fingers first and then sew it all together but that just does not work for me at least not right now maybe i'll figure out a way to do that but it doesn't really matter to be honest besides the way i'm currently doing it means there's no visible um, threads so i'm quite happy with how i'm doing it I should also mention that I do use blankets. I think I mentioned this a couple times in this vlog, but I use blankets and it's just my personal preference. Like some fursuit makers use fleece, I just use blankets. Sometimes on Instagram I'll get comments like, uh, like you're telling me I should maybe add some fluff to the cheeks or recommending sites where I can buy fabrics, like uh, fur fabrics, I'm like, I do appreciate the feedback and I appreciate the recommendations for sites, but I do know where to get fur, you know, you've got Big Z fabric and you've got um, Howl fabric, you've also got fabric.com and in the UK we have Mohair Bear fabrics, I think it's called, and Fabricland, there's another one. So it's not that I don't know where to get fabric, it's just I personally like using blankets. <laughs> but I, I do genuinely appreciate the feedback 
and stuff or like the recommendations to get for where to get fabric it's just personally I like to use blankets I think it kind of like, this isn't the only reason I use blankets but I do think it sets my work apart from other makers as well like how fleece rod uses fleece mostly like they do also use some fur I love their work by the way if you haven't seen fleece rot's work just have a little search on Google. It is wonderful. Um, but anyway, we've <laughs> got a bit of a sidetrack there. So yeah, like some makers just use fleece and well, other materials for accents as well. Then I just use blankets because it's what I like using. I will use actual minky sometimes for things like paw pads or noses or tongues or whatever. But for the most part, I just like to use blankets. monstrosity <sighs> honestly pause one of my least favorite parts of fursuit making but better than sewing the inside of fursuit heads like anything inside a fursuit head like sewing in the tongue or sewing in the mouth lining to the balaclava hate it this is still better than that but only barely <laughs> Oh, it's been a long day. It's almost five o'clock, so it's almost the end of the work day for me, at least. So I was looking in my box to find some sketchbooks, and uh, I found these stickers. <laughs> and it, they glow in the dark. They still glow in the dark. These stickers are about uh, what? They're probably about twenty years old. Uh, th they still glow. <laughs> like, oh, that's so cool. Like glow in the dark stickers. Unfortunately, they don't stick anymore, so you have to use a bit of glue. But like, glow in the dark. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. It's only four o'clock, and technically, I have another hour of work today, official work hours or whatever. But oh man, I've been so tired today. I don't know why. I just I haven't been. In, I've been a bit foggy with my concentration, I guess. So we're on the second pod. This is the second one. I haven't finished finished the first one. I still have to sew paw pads on the first one, but I thought I would do that at the same time. Um, yeah, basically what just happened was I sewed one of these fingers in inside out, or, yeah, yeah, in, wait, no, outside, in, and inside out, both at the same time, because the finger was right side would have been the inside if you flipped it out. Is this making any sense? Basically, this was wrong. I had to flip it and then repin it, but I'd already sewed it, so I had to undo all my stitches. I think I will uh, stop work early today. <laughs> Continue tomorrow, fresh and hopefully less foggy. Sewing the lining into the second part, and also I realised that uh, my threads are looking kind of empty, so I ordered two new threads, one white and one black, and it is all sewn together. Now I have to stuff it, and then I'll touch up the claws, because right now they're all a bit splayed out everywhere, but I'll fix it. It'll be okay. <laughs> well, I hope I don't want to jinx it. Anyway, I need to add the paw pads too, to both of the paws, and then a cuff. However, I am running very low on thread. Yeah, I'm uh, almost out of thread. So, I might have to, I might have some cream thread that I can use instead, but I guess we'll wait and see.
so I'm very lucky that I found this cream thread which meant I could actually finish the paws on the sewing machine because I needed to use the sewing machine to sew around the cuffs. I mean, it doesn't need to but it makes it a bit of a quicker job and also a nicer finish I think, at least for me because I'm not that good at like running stitches. <laughs> uh, I can do the blanket stitch and the ladder stitch. Running stitches are just no. Anyway, so I'm sewing these in, then I have to ladder stitch them in nicely so it's a nice, like, neat cuff. Uh, and I think I'll finish up these paws and then end the vlog because I have no idea how long this is going to be. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I... yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish these paws now. It is finally done. This took me two months, I think, give or take a week or two here and there. I took time off over Christmas because, you know, I didn't want to work over Christmas. But anyway, this was like a needed to be done this month so I can open for our first of commissions. Anyway, got this done. Now I need to take the promotional photos, like the photo shoot, film the video, explain all the details. Don't worry, that's just the um, protective plastic on the eye. <laughs> Um, so, photos, video, and then commission video, so showcase video, commission video, and then post this on my Instagram for sale, and also Twitter and, you know, social media for sale. Uh, whether or not it's still for sale at the time you are watching this is, uh, depends if it's sold or not, but you can go to my Instagram, check it out if you want, or Twitter, or wherever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I don't vlog very often. I'm very new to this, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts and it's not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next one and bye.